Guys, this is the fourth time making this video. I fell three other times because my camera kept stop recording. And I started this video like at 8 59 a.m. And I literally wasted four hours trying to get this video done. But you know what? It is what it is. You just gotta grind, get the work done, and that's how we do it. Alright, what is going on guys? So today in this video I'll be showing you how to root the SMT550 aka the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 9.7 inch model and I'm running on the latest Android 7.1.1 system as you can see 7.1.1 over here yeah without further ado let's begin so first of all there'll be a link in the description and there's a file that you have to download it's a zip file and once you extract it you should get these two twerp recovery and odin now before you get into anything if your tablet is plugged in unplug it and then uh, open up odin the folder and then open up drivers and then if you don't have your drivers installed download this of course before you download it make sure your tablet is unplugged so just download it wait for it to finish and then once it's done just plug it in and windows should say like setting up device right here just let it do its thing and once your computer recognizes it then you're good now my tablet is low on battery so i'm just gonna keep it plugged in if this pops up click allow that's important anyways let's just begin so what you want to do is open up chrome on your tablet and you want to search up super wait this is not even in frame I'm so sorry so you want to search super su zip and then click this one and it should be from super su.com slash download you scroll down until it says zip right here and then click the first one the latest click recovery flashable zip and wait for it to download and once it's downloaded you can exit out of everything and unplug your tablet this step is important so first of all power down your tablet just click power off and once it's power off what you want to do is click the power volume down and home button at the same time and keep holding it until like a green menu pops up and then once it does just let go so again it's power volume down and home so hold it keep holding it down and when this pops up let go and then click volume up and wait for it and open up Odin, the folder over here, and then open up Odin3.exe. And now, just plug in your tablet, and there should be a blue box over here. Mine says COM4, but yours could be different. It could be like COM40, COM16, whatever the number is, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a blue box over here, you're good. Now what you want to do is go to options over here, uncheck auto reboot, then go back to log, click AP, and click twerprecovery.tar, and click open and click start and once it's done unplug it but this time and this is important step listen carefully so again hold down the power volume down and home keep holding it and then once the screen turns black like once the tablet turns off let go of the volume down only like keep holding down the power keep holding down the home and let go of the volume down and then immediately switch to the volume up yeah let's just do it so again power button volume down and home click clicking it and then once it turns off let go of the volume down only and then immediately and then just press the volume up so let go of the volume down click the volume up wait for it and then just let go just hold it down for like a couple seconds and let it go and this should pop up and when it does what you want to do is click install and then click download over here and click the super su zip click it click swipe to confirm flash and just let it do its thing and once it does click wipe cache slash delvic swipe to wipe and then click reboot system and there you go now the first boot time might take a while it might take up to like five ten minutes it's all right just let it do its thing and once it's done you should be good to go basically you you will have a rooted device and everything's good now if it reboots a couple times that's all right just let it do its thing all right so once it's booted up just unlock it and I have a root checker basic app and if I click verify root and when this pops up of course just click grant and there you go root access is properly installed on this device a couple of recommendations which you guys should do is first of all open super su click start no thanks and then click settings over here scroll down a little bit and where it says mount namespace separation uncheck that and then you're good and because we unchecked mount namespace separation you just have to restart your device and once it restarts 
then you're good. You can download anything you want, as you can see. Um, before this, I had Lucky Patcher. Everything works. Everything is all fine. That has been it, guys. That has been the video. That's how you root your SMT550 on the latest 7.1.1. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment below and subscribe. Peace out.